Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our Joomla 3.5 series. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new article category in Joomla 3.5. Typically when you first install Joomla, you're going to have just an uncategorized category. So when you create new articles, they will be added to the uncategorized category. Creating new categories actually lets you group like articles together and helps people find similar or related articles. So to begin, let's go ahead and log into your admin dashboard. If you don't know how to log into your admin dashboard, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your Joomla 3.5 admin dashboard. All right, once you've logged in, we're going to click on content and then categories here. When you do that, you'll see all of your categories listed. In my example, I just have the uncategorized category, and this is kind of the default category that most articles will be assigned to when you create them. So to begin creating a new category, let's go ahead and click the new button here on the top left. When you do that, it'll bring you to this page here where you can create the new category. I'm just going to say, this is a new test category, and this way we'll look and we'll be able to see um, how the page actually displays, or sorry, the category actually displays. For the alias, you can enter an actual alias name, or you can have it auto-generate one based on your title. Uh, for example, if you create a test category for the alias, or the test alias for the category, when you go to your site, it'll be example.com slash test slash the name, or sorry, the alias for the article. So keep that in mind when you create the, the actual categories. In the description, I'm just going to say, I'm creating this, creating this category as a test. And then at this point, I could actually say save and close and it will create the category. I'm just going to quickly go over some of these other options. Uh, for the parent, you could actually choose if you want another category to be the parent of this category and essentially nest it as like a child category. Um, you could also just, if you wanted to choose to unpublish it at this time, just almost save it as a draft. You can do that. Or you can also archive or trash what you've got here. Um, you can change the access level based on the user uh, group that you're assigned to. Um, if you have other languages installed, you can choose them here. I've just got the default languages. You could also add tags to them. For example, if you want to say category. And once again, tags and tags and categories are just basically just used for helping you to group articles like articles together. It also helps visitors to your site find similar articles or related articles. And essentially, you could fill those in as needed. All right, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and save and close. You'll see that my new category is, is listed there. Now, if I go to my articles, let's see, let's go to content articles. I could actually go, for example, to my, my test article here. This is a test, a new article. And notice when I click it, you'll see the new category available there in the category section. If you want more information on changing the category of an article, um, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our guide on how to change the category of an article. And if I went ahead and let's go ahead and choose the new article, save and close. Now when I go to my site and I go to that new article, you will see my new category listed here. Thank you for joining us for another video in our Joomla 3.5 series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.